In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Radeon graphics integrated in the Ryzen 7000 CPUs all the way up to 3.1 GHz using the Gigabyte B650E Aorus Tachyon motherboard. I'll speedrun you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Please don't outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock the Radeon integrated graphics of Ryzen 7000 CPUs, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. Upon entering the BIOS, click the XMP Expo Disabled button. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5, 6400 and associated memory timings. Switch to Advanced Mode. Set GFX clock frequency to 3100 MHz. This will effectively overclock the integrated graphics to run at 3.1 GHz with the maximum default voltage of 1.25 volt. However, we can only run up to 2975 MHz stably at that voltage, so we'll increase the voltage with some other settings. Enter the Advanced CPU Settings submenu. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here is where we will do most of the performance tuning as PBO provides us with the tools to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC and EDC according to the Motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard we find that the following values have changed. Enter the GFX Curve Optimizer submenu. Set GFX Curve Optimizer to GFX Curve Optimizer. Here's where the real magic happens as GFX Curve Optimizer allows us to adjust the voltage frequency curve of the integrated graphics by up to 30 steps in a positive or negative direction. Each step represents about 5 millivolt. Setting a negative curve means the graphics will use less voltage for a given frequency. Setting a positive curve means the graphics will use more voltage for a given frequency. It's the latter we need to further increase the graphics of voltage. Set GFX Curve Optimizer Sign to Positive. Set GFX Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 30. This increases the maximum voltage from the default 1.25V by 30 steps of 5mV to 1.4V. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. With the graphics frequency running now 40% higher than stock, we get a significant performance improvement in most benchmark applications. We see a maximum performance improvement of plus 41.67% in Tomb Raider. When running Furmark GPU stress test, the average GPU effective clock is 3.1 GHz with 1.395 volts, and the GPU memory clock is 3.2 GHz. The average GPU temperature is 52.8 degrees Celsius. The average GPU plus SOC power is 60.689 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support, and see you next time.